In today's video, I want to take a look at something that comes up occasionally, and that is the question of employees coming to me looking to go to court to get an injunction, looking to go perhaps to the High Court to look for an injunction. There's been a couple of decisions there recently uh, three decisions or two decisions recently, which I've written about on my website, employmentrightsireland.com. And if this sort of thing is of interest to you, you should check out the blog post that I've written. But the most recent case involved a solicitor who was dismissed from the employment and the reason given by the solicitors, Burn Wallace, I think it was, yeah, was on the grounds of redundancy and the solicitor who had been in the employment since 2006 brought an application to the high court seeking an injunction preventing his dismissal on a couple of grounds one was the lack of fair procedures which he alleged and two was that the redundancy was not a genuine redundancy it was a sham redundancy so what the High Court did was they looked at the contract of employment, they looked at his contractual entitlements in respect of termination of employment. And his contractual entitlements as per the contract in respect of a termination would simply be the notice period. So the High Court looked at the notice period in the contract and ascertained that he had in fact been given the correct notice period. That being the case, the High Court decided that there was no breach of contract and therefore they had no role or no function to get involved in the case because the High Court held that if he was claiming that it was a sham redundancy, then essentially it was an unfair dismissal. And if it was an unfair dismissal, there is a statutory scheme there by way of the Workplace Relations Commission to allow employees bring claims for unfair dismissal and so on. So there's a statutory scheme. It starts with the Workplace Relations Commission, the WRC, and the High Court didn't want to get involved and would not get involved unless there was a breach of contract. The High Court held that there was no breach of contract and for that reason did not get involved, refused the application by the solicitor for the injunction restraining his dismissal and basically advised him or told him that the correct venue in relation to the sham redundancy would be to bring a Workplace Relations Commission claim under the Unfair Dismissals Act of 1977. Prior to that, I have written about another case involving a gentleman down in, I think it's the west of Ireland. Um, he brought a claim against the HSE. Again, he went to the High Court he had been, uh, he had a good job as the chief executive officer of uh, HSE Emanation, as it were, a company or a group. He was the acting HSE or the chief executive officer. The HSE then in 2018 held a competition to fill the role on a permanent basis. And this man who had been acting as the HSE since 1999 or no, he was uh, acting as the HSC or as the chief executive since 2014. He went for the job, but he was unsuccessful. And he then went to the High Court and he sought an injunction from the High Court, preventing the HSC from filling the role and essentially looking for him to be confirmed in the role by virtue of the Fixed Term Work Act and his uh, CID, his entitlement to a contract of indefinite duration. But he had brought a case, I think, to the HR or the WRC in the first instance. And because that complaint was heard by the WRC, the High Court again wasn't going to intervene and basically said that where there is an administrative tribunal, for example, the Workplace Relations Commission or the Labour Court, set up by the Oireachtas to enforce statutory rights then the High Court should not interfere. And the statutory right that this man was looking for, I think, was a recognition of a CID and basically to prevent the 
appointment of somebody else to the position as chief executive officer in the company or in the group in which he had been acting chief executive officer. Again, this is a case where the employee sought an injunction from the High Court and the High Court said, no, we're not getting involved. There's a statutory scheme. It's set up by the Oireachtas. It's the WRC, the Workplace Relations Commission, and or the Labour Court is the place for you. I hope you find these videos useful or this video useful, but from time to time I am asked by people to bring some sort of an injunction in the High Court. And firstly, they don't have any idea of the cost of seeking a High Court injunction because if it goes pear-shaped and if you lose or even if you win, it can be expensive depending on the circumstances. Bringing a High Court injunction attracts significant legal costs. And most people don't realize this. But secondly, and for legal reasons, the likelihood is the High Court won't get involved if there is a statutory remedy open to the employee and that statutory remedy will be to go to the WRC. So if the employee can go to the WRC for a statutory relief or remedy, then the High Court won't get involved. The only circumstances that the High Court will appear to get involved will be where there is a breach of contract. In other words, there's a breach of the person's contract and on that basis, it's a breach of contract situation or it's a breach of constitutional rights to fair procedure or it's a breach of some sort of uh, constitutional right. And in that case, the High Court will get involved all right. But there are limited enough circumstances. Hope you find this video useful. If this sort of thing floats your boat, you may be interested in subscribing to this channel. If you are interested, just hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell and you'll get notifications when I make a new video. I make new videos twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday, and um, hope you find this useful.